All right, tonight's lesson is lesson 55, and we are multiplying by three-digit numbers. Now, we just did this before a couple days ago when we were multiplying by two-digit, and now we're doing it by three-digit. So it's kind of the same, just one more step. So go ahead and write this down. Now, this is very important to remember. When we multiply by a three-digit number, we multiply three different times. We multiply by the hundreds, so right here you have your hundreds, then we're going to multiply by our tens, and then by our ones. So it basically is three separate multiplication problems, and we're doing it all in one, in one step. Now I know last year you, you guys have said that you were allowed to do it in three separate problems, but you need to learn how to do it into one. So from here on out, we are only doing it into one separate problem. Um, but let's go ahead and see what it would look like if we were to do it in three separate problems. Okay, so it's basically the same as taking, so we're multiplying 234 by 123. It's like taking out that 100, so we're multiplying this number by 100, then we're multiplying it by 20, because we have two in our tens, so by 20, and then we're multiplying it lastly by our last three in our ones. So let's do it. Okay, if I were to multiply 234 times 100, you do this mentally all the time. You just write down 234. When you multiply, you just add on your two zeros. And then the next one, I'm going to kind of offset. I'm going to try and offset my zero like you, I know you guys do. Okay. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. And then drop our zero. 4,680. And lastly, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So then, you need to add up all of these numbers, and I've already added them up, but if you were to line them all up, you would get, uh, I'm going to write it down here so I have more space, 28,782. And that is our grand total. So now we're going to do a problem together, and I've already kind of written down the steps that we need to do, um, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. And if you notice, we're doing the same problem, so we should get this magic answer over here. Okay, first things first, I multiply, first we multiply 234 by the 3. We always start with our 1s and then work our way over. So if you like the method where you put your finger over it so you can see it better, or if you're okay with just leaving it there, um, whatever works for you. So if I put my finger over it, all right, here we go. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 1, 0. And lastly, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. All right, perfect. Now, like we've done before, you have to drop your zero into your next column. Don't forget your zero. If some of you forgot your zero while doing these problems, you will notice that your answers are wrong and they're smaller. Okay, so we dropped our zero. Now, we're going to multiply by this two. If you want to um, kind of cover up those two, you can do that. I know on your dry erase boards, you guys like to kind of erase them and then write them back in. Um, but kind of get used to looking at it and know, knowing which number you're on. So we're on our two. So we are going to go to the 4 first. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Remember, try to keep your numbers in a straight and nice neat column because that will really help you when you're adding. All right, now this is the thing that is new. Now because we have a 1 over here, we have to multiply this number by 1. But what we need to do is drop a 0 like before except now you add a second zero. So you were used to um, dropping just one. Now when you hit that third line, you need to drop two. So no zero here, one zero here, two zeros here. Okay? Now think about it. When you look up here, you have a no zero with your three, a one zero with your 20, and two zeros with your 100. So it should kind of start to make sense. All right, now I'm going to take my one all the way over to my four, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2. Take a second, look at 702, 702, 4680, 4680, 
23,400. 23,400. You're doing three multiplication problems all in one. Instead of writing them out, writing them out, writing them out, it's all in one. So what did we do with all these answers? Now we add them all together. 2 plus 0, 2. 8 plus 0, 8. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 7 is 17. 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8. And 2. 1, 2, 3. 28,782. All right, now we're going to move on and try two examples. You may try them by yourself first. If you'd like to pause it and go ahead and try and see um, if you get the same answer as I do, or you can do it along with me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go first. All right, four times six. Four times four, 16, 17, 18. Four times three is 12, plus one, 13. Down to my next row, drop my zero. All right, five times, five times six. Now again, when you put your numbers up here, I might need to put it above it. Five times six, put my three up here. Five times four, plus three. Five times three, 16, 17. All right, now I'm going all the way over to my hundreds, so I need one zero, two zero. All right, three times six, my one and my eight. Three times four, 12, plus one, 13. Three times three is nine, plus one is 10. All right, now I need to add these all up together. 4, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 4, 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 11, 12, all right, 1 plus 1, 2, and 1, 1, 2, 3, 122,484. All right, now up here, when you guys have to carry, um, I like to stack them. So if I'm on my first number, I, I'm looking at my first number. If I'm on my second number, I look at my second number. When I'm on my third number, I look at my third number. Uh, if you like to cross them out, you can do that too. It's totally up to you. All right, again, I would try. I, if you didn't try the first one by yourself, try this one by yourself. And then check to see if you did it the same way. All right, here we go. 4 times 7, 28, 4 times 8, 32, 33, 34, 34, 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3, 16, 17, 18, and 19. I'm on to my 3 now, so I need a 0, 3 times 7, 21, 3 times 8, 24, 25, 26, 3 times 4 is 12, 13, 14. Add my 2. Now again, I'm on to my 6. So 1, 0, 2, 0. All right, 6 times 7, 42. 6 times 8, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Adding your 4, 52. 6 times 4, 6 is 4. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, adding your 5. When you're done, add them up. Again, remember to keep your line straight. 8, 4 plus 1, 5, 9 plus 6, 15, 16, 17, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 plus 1 is 10, carry my 1, and 3. One, two, three. Three hundred and eight thousand seven hundred and fifty eight is your answer. All right, just two lesson practices today. Take your time, make sure you drop one zero, and then you drop two zeros.